Hey, welcome back to Rabbi Fred's 180s, a periodic view that's about 180 degrees and just a little more than 180 seconds and willing to do a 180 to even reverse itself, which is a theme this morning. Um, we've been talking a lot about pluralism this year with our amazing Shaliach Erez Golan asking tough questions about modern life in Israel with the death of noted author Yoram Kaniuk just this week, who was so secular that he renounced his Jewishness on the National Identity Papers. And of course, just following the elections with the amazing combination of the center-left pluralistic um, uh, Yeshatid and the far right Habayit Yehudi, both around a pro secular, almost anti religious agenda. Who knows what's possible? But in this moment, we don't do enough about religious pluralism starting at home. And I want to raise exactly that question with a little disappointment as well, only because this series of 180s is our and my first foray into video. And unfortunately, the sorta cool, sorta nerdy synagogue rabbi who bicycles to work has already been done on video. And I, for one, am devastated that it's not us. I want you to Google, since you're already online, these words, Rabbi Diva, D-I-V-A, drama, B-D-S, for Beth David Synagogue, Rabbi Diva Drama. Here it is at 2 minutes, 17 seconds, and uh, you'll see what I mean. Um, this guy's way too cool for me. He'll even start working out in a minute, which is way further than I take it. He's a bit more from or observant than I, but I gotta respect the guy. Really amazing. Check it out. More importantly, this part's cute, but at the seven minute mark, seven minutes in on Rabbi Diva Drama BDS, is a truly inspiring segment that shows what an affirming, pluralistic, orthodox community can look and sound like. I commend it to us. Because with all this talk about pluralism in Israel, we miss how often pluralism begins at home. I want to urge us, as summer comes and we have fewer commitments, to stretch our wings just a little bit. If you have never davened in a modern Orthodox synagogue, assuming that it's a Reconstructionist audience watching this, try it out. You probably will come back to Adat Shalom grateful because of our stance on women and gay and lesbian inclusion and a host of other factors. But I trust you will also leave with renewed admiration for something that they do. Just as I would hope that folks from those communities would come and visit us if we could work out the walking on Shabbos issue. And that they would say, I'm not going to become Reconstructionist, but there's something powerful there. Kirster Stendhal, the Bishop of Stockholm, who later taught at both Harvard and Brandeis, taught the concept of sacred envy, that we should be able to go to another community different than ours and say, I'm not going to convert. I hold my core principles, but I am so impressed by what they do that I'm almost envious, and I want that in our community. How can we learn from them and be in dialogue? May we have a little sacred envy at some point this summer as we burst open our own sense of pluralism and possibility and move just a little bit more toward the kind of inclusive and thoughtful world we all hope to inhabit. Let's look around at least 180 degrees from where we stand. That's our 180. Com uh, comments, as always, welcome on the website, and we'll be back to you soon. Take care.